What is up, beautiful people? Keith Mitchell here from the Out Here Productions, and today we're going to go over the crafting system and Outriders, which is now available or will be available by the time you see this video for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. Now, a couple things to get out of the way before we talk about the crafting system. The crafting system is not available from the start. You have to get to a certain point where you'll save this gentleman right here, and once you finish out that quest line, he will then be available in your camp, and he will be the person who can upgrade your gear. Going further into that, you will need to collect a number of resources, which you'll see at the bottom left-hand side of my screen, which will allow you to upgrade your stuff. So you have scrap, you have leather, you have iron, you have titanium, and then you have shards. Shards you'll get by dis dismantling weapons. Titanium you also get from dismantling epics and legendaries and taking down tougher enemies throughout the game. Iron, you'll find those nodes throughout the world. The blue things look like blue chunks. Leather, you'll get from dismantling gear. And then, of course, you'll also get scrap from basically killing things, doing things, dismantling things. These are the resources that you'll need in order to upgrade your gear, which is your weapons, your armor, and whatever else you happen to come across in the game. So to access the modding system, we need to talk to this guy right here. There will be an option to go ahead and upgrade your gear and then it will take you to the crafting system. Now, the crafting system is very straightforward and it's easy to understand, at least to me. And I think people who weren't really sure what to expect are gonna enjoy this system just because of the amount of options that it gives you. Right hand side of the screen, you'll see crafting options and you have improved rarity, raised attributes, mod gear, swap variants, and level up. These will all require a certain amount of resources that you must already have. So for this, we're gonna go take one of my weapons Actually, let me show you what happens when you select the green because it's also based on the rarity of your weapons. So when you pick a piece of green gear, you only have access to improve the rarity and rage attributes. The reason for that is most green gear that I've seen so far doesn't have a mod. Without a mod, you can't upgrade the mod. Now, there have been some pieces of green gear that have different variants. Let me show you variants because this is actually interesting. All right, it says it has a variant, but it doesn't. So I can't show you on that one. So let me show you on this guy. All right. So weapons throughout the game will have different versions and each variant of the weapon will have different attributes. So when I go to the standard one, my RPM goes down, my reload goes down, but my damage, clip side, and crit go up. Keep in mind here, this is very important. If you click on the other variant and it has an icon next to it saying it's gonna use 60 iron. If you click on that, even though you don't want it, it's going to switch the variant and take your iron. Be very careful of that. Be very mindful of that. Because if you do it by accident and you don't have enough and you want to go back and switch it back, you're stuck. All right. So, actually, I don't want to upgrade that piece of gear. So, let's do this one right here. So, this one doesn't have a variant, which is fine. I want to show you everything that happens when you try and upgrade gear. So, this one, it says improve this item. I can't improve this item because I don't have the titanium. And what will happen is it will take this blue item and make it a higher quality blue or possibly a purple. I don't think that's worth it for items you find early in the game, but later on throughout the game, definitely worth it, especially when you're going towards end game content and beyond. So keep that in mind if you're already at the end of the game. Some people who are watching the video probably already are because there are a lot of people playing the game right now. You can do that. I don't think it's worth it. And just due to the fact of how much titanium it requires, be very mindful. All right, we can raise the attributes, however. We have access to change the max health, and we can change life leech. This will vary depending on the piece of gear that you have. So max health and life leech, but if I change to the boots, I will be able to change my anomaly power and healing receive. This is gonna be make or break min and max heaven for those who like to make the best out of everything that they have, as long as they have the resources. I don't want to upgrade that. I think my lacking piece right now are my gloves. So I will upgrade my gloves. Because I think this is actually better for me because it changes my cooldown. Okay, great. So I don't have enough for the actual cooldown. I have enough for max health. It doesn't tell you how many shards you have and those shards are specific to the items as well. I don't fully understand that system. I haven't found anything that really explains that system. I'm gonna imagine I have to dismantle a number of weapons that have co or items that have cooldown, which gives me those actual shards. So since I don't have that, I can't do that. So again, I'll go back to this piece right here and I will raise the attribute. So I'm gonna raise my life leech. 
Actually, no, I'm going to raise my max health. And then I'm going to do it again. So I can literally keep raising my max health until I run out of shards, which I wish it would show me how many I had, but it doesn't. So I'm going to stop there. Now I'm going to modify my gear. To do this, we have to find the mod that we want to place into the item. So right now I have strongest reflect bullets. Um, that's actually a really good one. I don't think I would want to change that one, but also impale is also good and kill per kill. So it's going to depend on the mods that you have and you unlock them as you play the game. Actually, this one's actually good. Heal for 50% of damage dealt. So we're going to swap that out. All right. So we hit A to put the mod in and then we, we have to get it 55 leather to put it in there. Now I've modified my piece of gear. So now it has the new ability, which is great. So I can now use that whenever I want. And then we have level up. Level up depends again on how many resources you have. I can't stress this enough. This is very important. So what this is telling me right now is I have a level 12 item. If I give 289 leather, I can upgrade it to a level 13. It will also change my max health and skill life leech. So you want to pay attention before actually changing your attributes because this could technically override what you just put in place. So I'm going to upgrade this. So now I am level 13. So now I can probably go back and raise my attributes a bit more if I want to. Even though the gear system says crafting and modifying, that's pretty much it. You don't actually craft new pieces of gear and i know a lot of people were asking about that you're taking pieces of gear that you already own and you're modifying them let me see if i actually can change this auto or this double gun which i really like i've I already changed the variant from the standard to the demolisher and there's another one that i haven't unlocked it doesn't tell me what it does which is kind of sad but i want to see if i can level this up i can level up to 14 and now that is my current maximal level for this particular gun. I can also go back and change the attributes. Nope, I can't. I don't have anything with crit or close damage or close range damage. And I can't raise the rarity because I don't have any titanium. But that is the crafting and modding system in a nutshell. Again, it's pretty straightforward. As long as you pay attention to the amount of resources that you have, you'll be able to upgrade pretty much anything. You can't upgrade greens. You can't level up greens, I should say. You can level up your blues and your purples and your legendaries but really want to pay attention to what you're actually doing and as always if this video was helpful be sure to like comment and subscribe and maybe i'll see you online at outriders coming out april 1st for pc xbox playstation that means xbox one xbox series x xbox series s playstation 4 and playstation 5 and pc on steam and epic game store thanks for watching